finally, I was able to get a legendary weapon to drop. On top of that, it's a great sword, which by the way, I'm having the most fun using so far. Now I can actually make a build surrounding this weapon and show all of you what I've come up with. That's coming soon, so stay tuned for it. But let me tell you how you can get your hands on this weapon. It's a guaranteed drop, and if you're able to kill this boss found here on the map, you need to travel quite a ways up to get to his cave. But basically he's known as a magma because that's what he spits out his mouth like a dragon. Seems to me like he's a mix between a lizard and a dragon. And not only does he spit lava all over the place, but also wields this crazy great sword, the magma worm scale sword. It has an ability that emulates what he does. When activating it, you leap into the air and do this insane ground pound that deals fire damage upon landing. Then for several seconds, leaves a pool of lava, which causes damage if anyone enters. I think this is so good because if you scale it correctly, the damage will be insane. So I want to give you some essential tips and strategy about how to kill this boss because it's not easy. There were certain methods I implemented to fight him which made it a lot easier. And there's a specific Ashes of War that you need to get which helped me during the fight. I know poison is looked at as not that strong but this particular Ashes of War called Poison Mist is amazing and very easy to attain. You don't have to kill anybody. Head over to Kaled and in this area right here there's a poison swamp. Stay on horseback and you won't be affected by it. But in the swamp, there's a beetle that when killing it will give you the Ashes of War affinity. That's all you need to do. What it does is not only allows you to attack the enemy with a deadly swing from your weapon, but also releases a poison cloud that deals 75 poison buildup. This means that once the victim is afflicted with the poison, will start taking significantly more damage over time. I used this on a magma worm, so even while I was not near him, he would take a lot of damage over time. And there's another Ashes of War called Poison Moth Flight, where you can coat your weapon with poison and deal double damage to enemies who are already afflicted. But the Ashes I have is Poison Mist, and after using the ability, it creates a mist and coats your weapon as well with poison, allowing you to deal double damage with it also. It's the perfect strategy, because with this boss fight, he's always on the move, leaving lava everywhere in his path, so it's hard to get close to him. And hitting them with this will allow you to deal damage over time without you needing to be near him. And every now and then he'll attack you with a scale sword, but not often. This happens way more in the second phase. So a perfectly timed attack here and there with poison mist is all you need to patiently take his health down over time. Once you get him to the next phase of attacks, he'll stand up and begin to use his scale sword way more. This is where he can potentially one shot you. So time your blocks and dodge rolls accordingly. Also, I suggest that this is where you get up close to him because He'll spit lava on the ground in front of him in an attempt to create an area of denial so you can't get close. So hurry up and run behind him when you see him rear up to spit his lava. When you're there, keep hitting him with the poison mist ability and this will deal insane damage, I'm telling you. But make sure you pay attention to when he rears up to attack because as I said, it can one shot you. If you time your attacks and evasions correctly, this boss fight will be a breeze. You know, Elden Ring, boss fights, and Dark Souls games I learned is all about timing and patience. You know, these bosses wind up their attacks and it makes you think they're gonna attack when they're not. So you just have to look at him and wait until he swings. And literally you get iframes and he won't hit you. So after you kill him, you'll get his scale sword, which I am absolutely loving right now. I just got it so I need to create a build and play style around it based on what scales it best. What do you all think is a good way to scale this sword? Let me know in the comments below. Also tell me if you have this weapon. Thanks for watching this video. And if it helped you out in any way, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps us reach with the algorithm and all. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.